everybody. Welcome to season two, episode one of Cooking with Dan and Luke. Now give it up for our two chefs, Dan and Luke. Awesome, baby. Yay. Good job. Yay. Yeah. Great. All right. Good job. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing hey, today? Everyone. Season two, guys. Season two, episode one. With the big announcement today. Or oh, did we already boy. really announce that? No, we have not announced it. Man, me and Lou did so many videos kind of over the holidays and <clears throat> different things, and we would announce what we're going to be doing, and then I would be like, no, I don't like the way that turned out, and then we would, like, just, you know, file 13 it. So, we do have some big news, and it's how season two is going to go after Today. episode one. But before we get into that, uh, let's do this real quick. We have uh, some, some a couple people sent us some goodies, and we just really want to give you guys a shout out real quick. Uh, Melanie Fox, thank you so much from Rogers, Minnesota, I believe. And this, guys, this has tablespoons and cups measurements and uh, milliliters and ounces. This is going to be Dan's favorite little measuring cup right here. Oh boy! Matter of fact, Lou, let's just go ahead and say right now. This this belongs to old Dan. You need to use this, you just call me and I will come in and use this for you. Okay. How about that? Mm hmm. Maybe really great. It may fit her hands pretty good. <laughs> okay, and then we got some other little goodies here with a card. Uh, thank you so much. Oh boy. Pat. Pat, I'm sorry. I'm not going to butcher your last name. Let me see. And Lou's worse with names than I am, so don't even try, Lou. Mm. There you go. That's as good as it's going to get right there. I'm not even trying it. But, uh, uh, Pat, thank you so much. We really appreciate it, guys. Uh, as always, anything you guys give. She sent this us some goody really, little from... Uh, this is wire and... and uh, oh, baby. Yeah, that's why that's not supposed to be uh, like The that. handle's turned out. Perfect example. This is really pretty. Pearls and, and this wire, that's really, really pretty. She sent us some goodies from Memphis, Tennessee. Awesome. Or, Tennessee, I guess you could say. Okay, well, I'm going to be using this today, I believe, at some point. So, anyway, thank y'all so much. Okay, let's get to the news. Oh, I have one more from Linda Bison. <clears throat> she sent every family in this family a goodie box. Every family in this family? Every little family in this big family go. a goodie box of like oh, yeah, the, uh, the toilet dude paper, the, the dude, dude wipes. wipes. Daniel loves those. Hey, come on. <laughs> just kidding. Just a bunch, like some dish towels and stuff is really cool. We just wanted yeah, to thank, thank you for thank that. Yeah, thank you so much for that. <laughs> Boy, guys, man, I'm going to tell you what. The holidays are over with. I've been a little bit sad. But uh, you know what? We got a lot of stuff going into 2024 we're really happy about. So, Lou, with no further ado, let's, why don't you tell them, this is going to be a little bit hard to explain, guys, so stay with us a little bit. But, Lou, why don't you tell them what we're doing in 2024 for Cooking with Dan and Lou okay, after so, today's episode. So, if you suggested this, a few <clears throat> different people did suggest this, and we thought it was like a really good idea. Yes, we did. Because we were trying to figure out what we're going to do. Well, we wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't We're going to, each week, we're going to do a different state of the food that that state is known for. And we're going to go on alphabetical order. So, we're going to start with A, with Alabama. And we are, of course, we have to Google it, so... To see what our what the state's food you are distracting me. I'm sorry. To we see are. what the state's food is that they're <coughs> known for the most. So we want we wanted to do this first episode just as a regular episode so that y'all could start sending us suggestions for your state. Okay, so let me let me say can I can mm -hmm. I talk now for a minute yeah. just a second? So listen guys, here's the deal. Oh man, we gotta have some order about this, okay? So Guys, listen, if you send us, let's just say, for instance, you're from uh, uh, California, for example. We're on A's, right? We got the A's that go, well, maybe California's not a good one. Maybe, let's say you're from Texas, and you want to send us a recipe for a famous Texas dish. Don't send it to us now, because we still got 30-something episodes to do before we get to Texas, right? Please don't send that now, because it's going to get lost, okay, in this big line. But if you're from, now we got, uh, we got Alaska covered, I believe next week with Lissa is going to help us cover Alaska. 
So we got We're Alabama. Ask them to anyway. Yeah, we got Alabama first. Alaska, we got covered. Arkansas, I, I don't. I'm not going to go any further than that because I'm going to screw something up. But it's Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arizona, Arkansas, Arkansas okay. Colorado. So if you were from one, if of those you states, know that song, you're probably singing it to yourself now. Baby, don't do it again. There's an don't do it again, baby. Please don't. There's do it again. a state song that you sing in. Al that's how you learn your state. If you're you sing do that, it, I'm going to get you the karaoke. If you no. want to do that. Okay. I won't. Sing anyway, it. listen. The Google it. You can probably so, find that song. If you're from Arkansas or Arizona. Alabama. Send your recipes to uh, I think my email is on there. Guys, please don't just bombard me with emails. Please. If you want to participate in this, send me an email to danielmorrowoutdoors at gmail.com All one word, danielmorrowoutdoors with an S at gmail.com All one word. Send me your recipes to there. Okay? Listen, maybe you need to put your address on it because if you're from California and you're sending me something from Arizona, we don't, that's not what we want. We want somebody from Arizona to send us a recipe from Arizona. Please, that's the way this really needs to work. So make sure you put your name, where you're from, and then the recipe. And listen. We if, need to get cooking, so okay. kind of hurry up. I know we're going to get several from each state, guys. We're just going to pick one. Please don't get your feelings hurt on the one we pick. And I will tell you right now, for me and Lou, easy is better. So if you send us something complicated, I can promise you we will not cook that that meal. No. If it's got no more, offense. Yeah, no but. offense, but we're not complicated cookers. We're not gonna spend eight or ten hours in the kitchen. So it needs to be a simple recipe for us to cook. Okay. With that being said, I think everybody knows the rules. Daniel Morrow Outdoors, D-A-N-I-E-L-M-O-R-R-O-W, outdoors with an S at gmail.com. That's where you'll send them to. Let's get to cooking. All right, baby, let's tell everybody what we're doing and let's get after it. Oh, oh today we're going to be making... Did you forget what we were doing? No, I oh, thought okay. you were going to... No, no. Today we're going to be making hamburgers. You today. tell them what we're making because I got the meat. I'm so glad Brinley's standing right here. We're going to make Salisbury, Salisbury, Salisbury steak. Salisbury <laughs> steak. All right. Salisbury. Hey, we call it hamburger steak. Salisbury. Salisbury. <laughs> We're just going to say hamburger steak. Yeah, let's call it hamburger steak because I don't think you're saying that very accurately. <laughs> With your Texas accent at that. Salisbury. So, Daniel's going to open the meat. Yes, I am. We're gonna mix some stuff in with the meat. Yes. What are we doing? Talk to me. We're gonna open. We're tripling our recipes, so Brilliant we're do gonna do a whole pan. No. You don't want to mix up the meat? No. Okay. Why not? I got it. I got to talk. Sorry. Go ahead. We're gonna be opening a whole can of the condensed French onion soup and putting it in with the meat. I'm just gonna break the meat up a little bit right now. Friendly Grace, let um, me see if it's time for the, eggs. yeah. Uh, go ahead and break all three eggs carefully, ew. I guess that's supposed to look like that. I so I'm know. just dumping this in here? Yep. All three of them? Yep. All three of them? All, the whole can, just one whole can. These are for the gravy when it comes time. Okay. Move closer to you, baby. Good job. A plastic bowl. Is this all I'm mixing in here? No. You're going to put the eggs, breadcrumbs. We need a cup and a half of breadcrumbs. There we go. I didn't get the measure. I just There's a cup help. right there. That, I think that thing, oh, that's not a cup. That's Never not mind. no cup. I need like a napkin. This is Cup and a half of breadcrumbs. Really great. My hands are dirty. Pour that in here all over, baby. Like, shh, shh, shh. Um, there you go. Good job. Someone salt and pepper it to how we want. You better let me do that. Um, your hands are dirty. There, like that. Oh, man, that, yeah. Does it look good? Yeah. Notice how I filled the salt and pepper shaker. Move oh. your hand. Oh, 
Tell me when. That's what that's five pounds of meat, so move your hand. What? We want to get it in there. Alright, that's good. Okay. Remember, uh, five pounds of meat, so crunch away. Keep on the crunching. Uh I think that's enough pepper. Is yeah. that going out? No, it wasn't grinding. You can hear it when it grinds. I know, I feel like it's stopped. <clears throat> You gotta shake it kind of a bit, getting more down in the grinder. We do not want to make it too spicy. No, you're right, baby girl. Oh, please, they're ganging up on me. A little bit more. Put it back over there. Gigi does not like spicy. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good. All right. What else? Um, I believe that's all for that. No eggs. Oh, yeah. At, hey, watch your hair, sister. You gotta, you're gonna have to mix those up, baby, or somebody is. I don't know. You just pour them in there and start mixing it in. No, okay. can you mix them a little bit? Because I don't want to break the yolk with my hands. Yeah, right. I've already already and what is the difference? You're about to put your hands in the eggs. I made eggs with my mom, so I know how to mix them. Good, baby. Alright. After we mix all that together, I wouldn't do that till you get the eggs in there. Uh, pour it in there. Pour it in there. Yep. Alright. Let me put this in the Yes, please. Baby, I'm going to need a, a hand. I'm going to need a favor. Take my hat off, take my glasses off, please. Oh, careful. Put my hat back on. Uh, baby, come on, baby. I, your head is a big head. No, you got my hat crooked. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Is it right now? Don't have to tell Pete, Pete Bill I got a big head. <laughs> All right, so while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, well, we have to cook the patties first. So while the patties are cooking, we'll make the mixture for the gravy. How about well, that? Start making the mixture. Or you don't wanna make the mixture right now? I mean, I guess we can. Okay, baby. How many patties am I supposed to be making here? It says it makes six patties, and we tripled it. But it depends on how big you make okay. the patties. Uh, so it's up put, to you. What am I going to put them on? We're going to cook them so you can. Yeah, but I need to. When I make one, I need to put it on something. I, I don't want to start just... cooking one like that. Okay. 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 I mean, I'm just gonna make them like a foam on my hand size, huh? Mm -hmm. Is this okay? Yeah, well, the thicker they are, the longer they're gonna take to cook, so. Yeah, I know, but I don't want thin patties. But I'm just saying, I think in the middle of the patty is very thick and the outer edges are thin, so. Perfect, I, that's a perfect size. I think that's gonna, right. not gonna make enough patties if you make them that big. I'll give them a swap. They're just gonna be a big special. Do you want me to start making the mixture? Yes, please. Oh, no. All right, now I'm gonna make the mixture for the um, gravy. gravy. Yes. Uh, we're gonna blend the flour, so we need flour. One tablespoon. Uh, this. Is No. I don't think I need this big of a bowl if all we're using is one tablespoon of flour. Ow. One of these bowls. Papa, make sure you don't get your Apple Watch dirty. Okay, baby. Probably should have already taken that stuff off. But My Apple Watch is clean. Clean, clean. So, give me this. Oh, okay. Let me open it. Oh, help you open it. There you go. Open it. So, we need three of these. I'm going to do this because, well, let me see if I can just do it like that. We need three of these. Yeah, it's way more easier. Oh, be careful. Don't split. It's okay. I'm going to bite, like, the, whenever it's You're going to be such a good cook. All right. Do you think you're going to be a good cook for watching us? Ooh, hey, stop. I'm going to do it. Can I eat it? You, it don't taste. Oh, gross. All right, so we're making three tablespoons of flour. Mm, I already got that. Uh, I need the fourth cup. Can you get it out of the bottom drawer? 
What's the fourth cup? Is this it? You know what? I do need it because I have to. I didn't read far enough. I have to mix with One that. Cup, cup. I wasn't going to tell you that, but I was going to let you figure it out. Hey, real quick, let me just see you up. Thank you. I'm going to try to put most of it on. Say one fourth on it. Yes. Yeah, yes. And also, I need um. Yes. Ketchup. Powder. Water. Good job, Papa. You're doing great. I need you to get us a fork out. Oh, the can opener is what I need. Sweetheart. I love really cooking. If I really may take your spot, she just said you're doing great, Papa. Give me the can opener out. The white can opener. Yep, give me this. Very top drawer. Second drawer, baby. Is this it? Yes, ma'am. Did I spill? Just hold it up for a little bit. <laughs> All right. Now, after that, we're going to mix ketchup, the water, and the ketchup, water. What's your sister sauce? How much ketchup? A fourth a cup. Really, Grace, can you look in that drawer and get that wooden handle thing with the red end on it Here, in I the just, middle drawer? Can I just, like, yes, you can. Yeah, that's why I bought. Uh, what do you need again? It's got open the middle drawer, and it's got that wooden handle sticking up right there on top. Yep, bring me that. All right, guys, we ended up with 17 pegs. Likes to wear fake nails. And to, the, make, to make them stay longer for about a to little, make them hold on longer to like make them last for about like a week. They're the little I press usually, on nails. Yeah, the little press on nails. We usually like the glue that's on the press on nails. We leave it, but we also put a little bit of nail glue to make it stick on, and it will make it last longer. Mm -hmm. So. All right, one. Are we in a fashion show over we're here? We're gonna do six, six, uh, three tablespoons. Sorry, three. I'll do this because three tablespoons of Worcester sauce. Worcester sister sauce. Worcester sister sauce, but no. Hold on. You want me to put the lid on it? Yes, please. Okay, mix this up for me. All right, guys, we got a smoky mess here. But our patties are pretty much done. Lou's putting the gravy portion in on them now. I feel like this is not enough gravy, to be honest. Well, let will make some more. I don't think that's enough either. Now, you'll use that whole thing in there. Yeah, I'll just make another batch of gravy. Do we have another can of stuff? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay, no. Okay, what we'll do is we'll just use this gravy. We'll just have to put all the patties in here. Um, that's not enough gravy though, is it? To put on your mashed potatoes or anything? 
And we can put a bunch more patties in there for sure. All right, guys, let us go back to drawing more here just for a second. We'll come back to you. Guys, we don't have a lid big enough to cover the one pan, so we're gonna use the wok to cover. It fits perfect. It fits pretty good. There we go. I don't know about perfect, but it fits We could cook good. a whole chicken like that. <laughs> yeah, we could. All right, so look, here's the deal. I don't know why the recipe didn't make enough gravy for what it was supposed to. I guess maybe always when you triple recipe, don't always do what it's supposed to do. But uh, Brent, Brentley Grace went to get some brown gravy mix from G and Pop. Hopefully they have some. So we'll make one of this style with this gravy here. The next one we'll make with this regular like brown gravy or something. Yeah. And, uh, out of the packages and we'll see what happens. We'll see which one everybody likes better maybe. Be a good idea. Yep. So a little twist to it. Why don't you tell us how you make that package gravy? Easy. Oh, Lou sure can stir, can't she? I'm whisking. Oh, yeah, whisking. Sorry. Get it with her hands. So we're bringing water to a boil while we mix this together. And once that water starts boiling, we just add this gravy with it. And it's just done. Boiling, baby. That's and then the package. all we're going to do is put it back in that skillet with the patties and pour this gravy on top and voila, that pan of Salisbury steak is done. Much easier, ain't it? Yeah, than making the homemade, for sure. I was just trying to show everybody how good you were with your hands with that whisking. What is I the matter with she, you? I thought she was crying. I was like, what happened? What Looks like chocolate milk. You want to drink? No, that's nasty. Mm -hmm. Chocolate milk, you want to drink? Brenda Grace, she's messing with you. Don't do it. Cutting Guys, looky, looky at what old Dan and Lou made. Hmm. Old Dan burns the meat. Lou burns the gravy. We're a, such a good team. We did not burn the gravy. <laughs> I'm just playing, baby. <sighs> it's going to taste really good. Nothing burnt. Oh, Can you bring perfect. me the salt and pepper? You've been waiting all day to eat this. <laughs> there you go, sweetie. Thank you. Oh. We uh we just call it hamburger steak because Lou y'all should hear Lou say Salisbury. What is it? Salisbury? Salisbury? Salisbury steak. <laughs> Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak. It is a little smoky in here, and Bud said it wouldn't be cooking down loop. It had a little smoke flavor to it, so. But they keep We're coming rattled. back to eat. So they keep coming back, right? and no matter what happens, Steph is going to say, oh, it is so good. I, listen, <laughs> I love everything you make. Oh, Lord. Everybody coming? Don't worry. Oh. They're going to get out of Brienne came to get food because they are not allowed inside of our house because Laramie has flu type B. And we're not, we're quarantining them. There you go, get out of here. Don't breathe on it. Don't breathe on it. Don't breathe. It's not on it. Great. <laughs> Tell us what you think, Bree. Oh. That was good. What? You're wearing pink now. It smells good. You're talking about my jacket? Why you got a, yeah. why, why you got a jackass on your shirt, Dad? I brought my own plate, huh? Why you got a jackass on your shirt? Because I'm a jackass owner. <laughs> uh, just a leave, jackass. leave all, yeah, leave off the owner part. Just say I'm a jackass. <laughs> I, have, I have a docky. That's uh, right. Say. All right. Well, Kim's not here yet, but let's pray real quick, I guess, since we're gonna eat. Heavenly Father, thank you for the state you've given us, Lord. Thank you for what you've done for us. Lord, thank you for bringing us through the through the year and just pray that you go with us all this year, Lord. And watch over this entire family, Father. We ask us to pray in Jesus' name. Bless this food. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And pray for Laramie. Oh, yeah. Oh, Laramie. That's good.
cute. All right, guys, so dinner's over. We ended up with two different pots because we had two different gravies. So we did a little comparison. What bread guys? Yeah. Anyway, we had two different pots. We did a little comparison. My personal opinion is the homemade stuff that we did tonight, it, it was trash. I wouldn't eat it. I would never make it again. But everybody else had a little bit different opinion. So we'll go around real quick and just hear what they had to say. Lou and G, both pretty and pink ladies over there. <laughs> I, I liked it. I thought the meat was good. I ate a little creamed potatoes with gravy on it, and I, I liked the gravy. It was good. The red gravy. I the homemade gravy. Yeah, Lou, what'd you think? I liked it, and I ate the homemade gravy. You ate the homemade gravy? Kim? Yeah, I like the homemade gravy. Y'all have weird taste buds. Dad? I don't know. I ate out this first pot. Uh, you had the you had the regular packaged yeah, brown gravy. It, it was good. That's why you liked it, because that's the one I like. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Bud, Steph? I have I had some of each, and I I think I like the homemade gravy better. I, you're weird, Dan. I had some of each, I'm not weird. and I really thought that the homemade gravy resembled the top of a meatloaf. Yes. So, like the glaze of a meatloaf, it was sweeter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To me, and um, they were both great. And I know you're gonna make fun of me for saying that because no. I say everything's no, great. No, I'm not gonna make fun. But of But they're good in their own ways. Is, what I'm gonna say is, Only we have you found. Leave. Only leave. Uh, you leave. Yeah. We <laughs> found a new recipe for meatloaf topping. Yeah. yeah. And it's the gravy that we made tonight for our. But it wasn't trash. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't. Well, I didn't great. care. <clears throat> we won't call it trash. I made it. I can call it trash if I want to. I made it. It's right there. It's going to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't. I mean, I ate it. It wasn't horrible, but I would never make it again. I can promise you that. That that would never happen. Unless you're making meatloaf. Unless I'm making meatloaf. But I will make that package around gravy that really great. Had to go over to G's and get. Yeah, I, I don't understand. You're over here cooking, and we're supplying the, the goods to cook. Yeah. Well, Dad, that's because we've run out. We have run out of the other stuff. Thank God we did, or we'd all had to eat that trash. You would have had trash gravy, Dad. It would have been good gravy. All right, guys, me and Lou will be back in a minute. Well, baby, season two, episode one, disaster, in my opinion. I liked it. Everybody liked it. Yeah. You're the only one that didn't like it. Yeah, I know, but uh, we did have a good little helper today. Friendly yes, Grace. Yeah. I don't know if they can see you right there, baby. You might want to come over here by me. All right. <laughs> Gotta make sure our B Grace is in here. So anyway, um, I, it just had a it had a twangy flavor, and you know when Steph mentioned it, she said that this tastes like something that would be on a on a meatloaf. Meat I, loaf. I agreed 100 percent. Like yeah, that's like probably kind of like a meatloaf dressing or something. Yeah. Or like yeah. a side or something. Yeah, you're pretty smart. This girl's pretty smart. Anyway, um, so I'm really excited about next week, and the next for the, I mean, I'm really excited for the next fifty weeks. We actually have something already picked out for Alabama. I kind of hope somebody tells us something else. Well, but that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> we'll wait for some comments and see if we get something different. Yeah, evidently in Alabama, there's this white barbecue sauce that is supposedly. But Daniel's not too, he's kind of weird about trying stuff like that. Yeah, so I am. Very, we're going to try it though and see. Well, maybe unless we get a good unless recipe, we get other, then we're going to do something yeah. else. And plus, I don't know, I have to go make chicken, a bunch of chicken or a bunch of ribs to try white barbecue sauce on. And Which that's easy because we have the pellet grill. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, so I'm really looking forward to the next, the next 50 weeks, guys. Uh, this week right here, look, in my opinion, I've had much better hamburger steak or Salisbury steak. I've had much better in my life. This was decent to say the least uh, for me. Everybody else liked it, but I don't think anybody else said, hey, Lou, oh. give me the recipe. Like nobody else like, hey, I want that recipe. Right? I mean. Whoever does though at our some, at our meals. Well, you know what? That's true. Maybe all of our meals suck. Wait. Maybe they're just lying to us. No, they like. I think they are lying to us. I don't think my family nobody. ever likes our cooking. Nobody has asked. You notice less and less people are coming. <laughs> Jake and Melissa gave up on us a long they, time yeah, ago. They said, forget it. We ain't going back well, over there. Like, people haven't asked us for the recipe because we haven't posted the video yet. 
like other people no, might was, want the well, yeah, recipe, but it but we haven't posted. Lou's it. gonna post the recipe on the video, but I was talking about like our family. Why didn't our family? Because our family don't watch our videos. How come well, G or Aunt Kim or none of them want our recipe? Well, it's probably because they only want to try that once, and they probably they tried it here, so they there's no just point in trying like it, it again. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You're right. <laughs> all right, so guys. Mm. I tell you what, we got it. Uh, the old B Grace has got it all figured out, guys. I don't know what that is over there, but anyway. All right, guys. Listen, thank y'all for hanging with us. Look, these are going to get more interesting and more interesting every week, guys. So uh, this one may not have been great today, but stick with us because they're going to get better. Yeah, so stay tuned for next week. All right. Catch y'all later. Bye. Bye. How many times are we going to say bye? Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. -bye. bye.